here um in the upper right hand corner spawning as the purple terran it's up a tree zelda and in our bottom left hand corner we got the different purple <laughs> that is blue purple blue <laughs> Blues, <laughs> Zerg on Everdream, Dank Master. Fantastic. All right, so we got. Don't mind my color blind. Uh, no, we 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 don't. We don't mind. <laughs> got uh, Supply Depot in. He's uh, uh up a tree, making his barracks uh, off to the left here. Gonna be adding an attachment there. Go on gas. Not not worried about um protecting that attachment from. Any ling nibbles. Yeah, or a baneling bust, you know. Uh, you know. Hatch opening. It was a 17 hatch for um, Dank Master. Still no pool. All right. Well, taking gas. Yeah. Uh, I guess pretty standard opening. Usually it's 17 pretty standard. Um, pool. 17. Oh, okay. There we go. It's 19 pool. So it, I think it was a 17 hatch, 19 pool. So maybe that's just better economy. You can squeeze in a few more drones. Um, awesome. All right, and it looks like up a tree sending out the scout. I'm go check things out on oh, Dank Master side of the map. There, we got our cool logo in the middle of the map. There, beautiful ESL Pro Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop short of the natural, hop in, make sure there's a hatch, no shenanigans, please it. No, it looks like. Both players are opting to play a little bit safe. Oh, Opening, so nothing too cheesy Open. here. That's right. All right, the Reaper's out on the map. Reaper is out on the map. <laughs> Gonna go get a little more information. Maybe get some drones if possible. Maybe a few Zerglings. Oh. What do you see? It looks like it looks like up a tree is doing the ye old supply depot blocking well, of the yeah, third. Yeah, it's a bunker, but. Oh, it's yeah. a bunker! Oh, shit. <laughs> well, because think about it. You can also salvage it. So That's you can, smart. You can complete it, get a good amount of HP. All right, the Reaper going to go to work on some of these Zerglings. But yeah, you, you get a good amount of HP. And also, the Reaper could run back. There's so much utility there. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a bunch of Zerglings and needs safe haven. Hey, Queen's out. He's going to push this away. Meanwhile, back on up a tree side of things, he's got his CC almost finished. And he did have an attachment there. He's got a reactor. He pump out some... Oh, he's probably going to do the swap with the factory. Okay, Reaper still doing a little um, bit of uh, annoyance. The front, the natural. All right, link speed is just about done for Dank Master. And 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 up a tree is salvaging that that bunker. Okay. Real Interesting um, change of plans here. Well, yeah, I mean it's funny. He could have left it and then see. Look, now the drone wants to take the face. He's gonna lose this. That Reaper, Reaper is yeah. done, so. Well, the thing is, does it get away? Uh, well, the Link Speed is about to finish. Wait. <laughs> wow, the Jukes, and he's healing. Now Link Speed's here, he's gonna die, yeah. Aww. As soon as Link Speed kicks in, the, the Links can catch up to the Reaper and get us around, so. Funny, if he'd have just left that bunker for maybe a few more seconds, he could have denied that third from being taken. I think he just thought it wasn't going to be taken. Our word. Or, yeah, I mean, because maybe. he had time to salvage it if the Link started pecking at it. So as we uh, predicted, yeah. uh, factory swap here, gonna pump out some Hellions. They're great for just uh, map vision, harass. And drone BBQ. And here they're gonna drone intercept BBQ. some Zerglings. And uh, Zerg BQ is uh, on the map. <laughs> and uh, All right, coming out of the starport, we have a Liberator on the way and a Viking. That's right, well, he has a reactor on his starport too, so he can, you know, Get some good production out of that. We're gonna check out these Hellions coming in. Are they gonna get this tumor? Yes, they do. Four queens, though. I uh, wouldn't mess with that. Four queens and some speedlings. That was a book by Shel Silverstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, they're just kind of scooting around the map, making sure there's no push coming. Stim is on the way. So he did make a barracks with a, a tech lab. Going to get Stim. So I think the order will be Bio for today. Uh, the, I mean, he's made a good amount of Hellions. These will probably just be to harass drones at the third. Getting into the natural, pretty difficult, especially with these queens and the creep spread so far. Like he, he'll be able to, you know, bring, you know, ev eventually. Re oh, a spire. Yeah, a spire and a Bane Lane nest. Yep. 
about to pop up for Dink Master. So Ling, Bane Ling, Muta might be the call. Oh, Liberator moving into the main. And a work on it. No, taking out these gas mining drones is very important to stop the Muta. Meanwhile, Hellion's up at the third. Gonna fry some Zerglings. There's enough of them here to just bypass this queen. I mean, you could take out the queen. He's going for the Zerglings, though. The queen is doing some damage, and now the Lings are... They kind of just scoot right by each other. Four drones go down, though. In the meantime, uh, the Liberator is doing work. Scouts the Spire as well. Queen gonna chase it off. He's gonna get right on the edge here of the mineral patches. The drone pool, yeah, though. Yeah, he's gonna deny mining, though, and he's gonna kill this queen. Boom, three shots. Meanwhile, ooh, more bar barbecue action going on. Hellion's gonna kill this queen. He's gonna kite back the low ones. Now the speedlings could get us around here. If the kiting is good though, they won't do too much. Oh yeah, the, the Hellion kiting is lib Liberator's still alive. Just den oh, denying oh. five patches here. That, like, basically, so far, like, a minute has gone by. Those drones have not been mining at the They're natural. They're going to scoot over to the third, but guess what? The Hellions are up here, so he could be in danger of losing them there. And eight mutas have just appeared. Where are them mutas? Oh, here they are. So he's going to Is he going to try and repel these Hellions, or is he going to go straight to the other side of the map? Okay, so we found the Hellions. Hellions can't shoot up! Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Chase these away, but this is good information for up a tree. Oh no, get these Hellions out of here! He's losing Hellions, they're so low! He's gonna- Oh my gosh. Oh no! I think he realizes it's more important to get turrets up, or, or what's he doing at home? He's got turrets in his natural. There is a turret. Not in his main. <laughs> there is a turret. <laughs> Big Zergling push coming around the south side of the map here. Gonna meet up with the Mutas. The third base was taken. Looks like there's gonna be a turret and a bunker placed. And the Mutas wanna move in though. There's Marines here. This is looking pretty dicey. Like these marines, I don't know if they can withhold. Oh uh, well, there's a turret now here. He's, you know, it, if he bypasses this, uh, if Bank Master decides to go into the main, there is no. Tur oh, there is a turret up here. Okay, I didn't see that come down. So there's turrets in both mineral lines. Oh yeah. yeah. And he now has one up in his third, so he's got his third pretty much secured. These mutas are not in hot. He's gonna kill this Viking though. That's not too bad. He did clear out, I think, an Overlord or two okay. with that Viking. What's up? We got Baneling speed. Oh no, rolling. the big surround coming in. This is all of Up a Tree's army. He does pick up good pickup, raises the depots perfectly. They're gonna blow it up, probably get through here. Lings are here. This is a big attack for Dank Master. Oh. Uh, Banelings are only gonna connect with a few Zerglings to go down here in all the fray. The Muta's gonna circle up to the main. Siege Tank doing good job defending these Marines. What upgrades do we have? We just have Stim in combat. Miraculously, here. only two SCVs were lost during that. Yeah. Good, good hold by up a tree. He's going to pick up and come over here, try and catch up with these mutas. Meanwhile, more banelings being morphed in the middle of the map. Probably going to try and assault on this third, which is an orbital, is not a planetary, notably. Um, and infantry armor did finish up for up a tree. He now has um, plus one, plus one for his bio. Scan and the and the um Zerg upgrades are about to finish as well. Yes, the flyer upgrades. Uh, well, one level one uh, flyer attack. Okay, big attack coming into the natural. Not gonna find anything. Too many Marines and tanks here. I think Upper Tree realizes that you know if this is all Dank Master has, he can do a push. But Muta's gonna fly back into the main. Pesky, pesky Mutas. I don't know if there's enough here to stop the, the to, to focus down the turn. There's only like four. They're going to be annoying. One Muta did fall, but yeah. pr stopping production on these barracks. Yeah. That's annoying, but it's not like detrimental. The upper tree does pick up into the medevac with his marines, and he's going to um, you know, make sure that nothing really goes like, just down there. Guard, guard that area so they can finish finally constructing these barracks. So, All right. if we look... Zerg level um, ground unit level one upgrades have Ooh. been... Look at, look at this in the southern third location of uh, where up a tree where he could have placed his third all these banelings here i think this is going to be oh a possible God. run by into the natural there are marines here though he might try and distract in the third in the main with mutas and then just sneak right into the natural oh thor is here okay so we got a little bit of thor you know, is we here got a little bit of a hybrid build here uh we got some siege tanks it's really just one thor and then bio but um I, I, he might be going in to uh, some more mech style with tanks and Thors. Uh, army supply. Let's just take a look while we before we have some action here. Uh, up a tree ahead in army supply. A uh, little bit behind in workers though. 71 to 68. Actually, no, 
barely even. Only a few workers behind. So he does have the better and stronger army, it appears. It's gonna come But it looks like these mutas are poised for multi prong attack, probably coming within the next couple of minutes yeah. here. Next couple of seconds maybe. I mean seconds. time is of the essence. <laughs> and um okay, here we go. Muta's gonna move in, but there are Marines here. There are enough to kill this many Marines. He has to make sure that he kites back properly to the missile turrets. Up a tree senses that it's time to move out. He doesn't know about the army that's on the right southern side of the map. Okay, he's going to force a pullback of the Zerglings and Banelings, some of them, uh, from Dank Master. All right, feeling confident with those level two upgrades. Yes, that's right. That just two, completed. 2-2 two is done for the bio. Going to keep an eye on this good tank spread. The Thor is, the Thor is for the Mutas. That's what I just realized. It's it's literally just there to do splash on the meters. Oh, these medevacs, I hope they don't get sniped. Okay, a big surround could happen here. Zerglings and Banglings coming around the back. <gasps> but the tanks are in a great spot. They're protected on both sides, flanked by these Marines. Oh my gosh. That was that was perfect siege tank placement yep. right there. He's gonna use his Thor to target fire on the mutas, yep. Oh, Banglings are gonna connect though. Oh, good kiting from the Marines, Thor's going to probably fall, but does get some good splash damage, and there's Marines and tanks. The production line marching across the map for up a tree. This is his time. He's up ahead uh, about uh, 30 to 40 supply on Dank Master. Going to focus this fourth hatchery. It's going to fall there. 2-2 two, two Marines. Ain't nothing to mess with. Oh, these, these Zerglings just fry instantly. This is probably it. GG comes GG. out from Dank Master and up a tree takes game number one. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome. Awesome job, up a tree. <laughs> All right, let's update the score here. So these are best of threes as far as I, uh, yeah, as far as I know. Um, There we go. Score screen. Like, huh? You know? I guess I should leave. Yeah, that was great. Great job. So, up a tree. Takes game one. With some great positioning with his um, siege tanks and marines. Um, that was pretty epic. Yeah, but that high ground vision on either side of the tanks allowed that cover for the marines even though the Lings try to sneak around the back. Oh, man. Yeah, that, well, it, he had tucked his tanks in up against the cliffside, and on either side, there were these big batches of Marines. So it's like, you got to go through those, and whenever you force Zerglings and Banelings to connect with any type of units, and the tanks can fire down on them, um... That's like good for the Terran, you know. He he wants to be using his splash damage against the uh, a Bane Links and Zerg Links, and he had like five tanks there, so that was pretty awesome. Cool. Are we waiting for game two now? We are. Are waiting for game two. Okay. There. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's even posting the score. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, there we go. We are in the lobby. Oh boy, it's it's my favorite map. <laughs> Dathara. <laughs> Dathara. The only map I think I've ever played on where like the foliage like messes up my gameplay <laughs> like the bushes and the, and the flowers oh boy yeah no that's that's the annoying thing it makes you think that you can like build on it but it's not at all anything you can use and it, like if you build too close to it all your units get stuck which sucks if you're protoss and then like the zealot gets stuck oh, yeah it's so bad you just sandwiched in between what you think like it's, it's plants you should be able to e either cut through it or walk over it but Anyway, here we go with game two between uh, Up a Tree and Dank Master. I'll go ahead and uh, intro the Zerg first this time. In the upper left hand corner of Death Aura, canceling a gas to get some better drone production 
It's the blue Zerg Dank Master. All right, and we got in our lower right hand corner on Deathara, our purple Terran up a tree. Awesome. So far, some good StarCraft being played from these people. I mean, the I really wanted to see Dank Master, you know, make use of um, those like banelings that were hiding at the like southern location. You know, like like it seemed like he had a, a really good idea, but then up a tree had better army supply and upgrades and just pushed across the map, and it was like. Dink Master was like, oh, 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 oh okay, I, I can't do what I want to do right now. I guess I gotta pull back or I die. Or also just like the mental like taxing, taxation on his the ideas just were kind of forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> with that aggressive push across the map. Okay, a little change up in the build. I just noticed Dink Master put a pretty early pull down. Last time he, up, oh, f and speed, speed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see some aggression here. Dink Master's. Ignaster is out for revenge. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see how greedy up a tree gets. He's got his Reaper. He's going to scout this. I mean, he's also got an SCV on the map. Um, and it ends taking the natural. So it's pretty standard um, opening for possibly like a 1 1 type style opening. Okay, but y you have to check. So uh, up a tree does not scout the zerglings pushing across the map right now so these are six zerglings oh, no. definitely <laughs> going to be able to cancel this um uh natural because it's not oh he cancels it immediately wait he he cancels it what did he see oh he did he didn't see a natural he, he scouted no natural the wings is, is that supply door going to go up in yep. time, it up in time. Okay. reaper's here you might lose this scv ah so that was really good play by up a tree. He scouted no natural. I didn't catch it on camera him in his vision, but that's what happened. He scouted that there was no natural from Dank Master and he knew it was some aggression. Oh my God, Banelings being morphed. Um, didn't even see that the Baneling nest came down, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be happening. Big Baneling bus off one base coming in here. <laughs> up a tree fortifying the wall here. He's gotta hold the door. Let's see if he can do it. He's Is got this a wall thick up. enough? Gonna hop in there with his uh, <laughs> Reaper and his Marines. The SCVs are pulled to repair. Ah, see, up Dank Master knows he can't break this. Not yet. So he does take his natural. Gonna keep sending, uh, you know, a few units. I mean, the, the threat of a bust is there. Okay, and... And uh, up a tree's fortification is basically a castle oh, yeah. at this point. Third bunker, fourth, fifth bunker coming down. He thinks this is, like, very all-in. See, he doesn't see anything else right now. All he knows is that there were Banelings and it was going to be a bust. And it could still be a, a pretty... I mean, like... What we know is that... Oh, oh, I thought that was a medevac loading up. I thought he was about to push across the map. That would have been good. He's going to check on this. He wants to see what's out here. So he gets a good scout of how many Lings. Banelings are out here, actually. It's not like 20 Banelings, like 30 Zerglings. It's not as bad as I think he thought it was. So we might see some salvages coming here. He's going to go back to mining, making his orbital. Third base now uh, being brought in for Dink But this Master. is delaying, like, so much mining yeah, time well, for the expansion. Yeah. I mean, luckily, he, he was able to, you know, morph in his mule. He's going to be able to mule and keep his economy kind of going decently. Workers are not too different. Um, disparity here is 25 to 20. It's actually even. He does salvage these bunkers. He knows this isn't going to be a huge haul-in like he was afraid of. Um, and he probably wants to take his natural as soon as possible. So he's getting Hellions. The thing is, the he could get surrounded if he goes out with not enough here. He wants to get out, though. He really wants to get out. Okay, he's going to kite with... Yeah. You can feel the pressure of not being able to mine while knowing that Dig Master is probably starting to be a little bit more greedy. Yeah. Well, and Dake Master, to his credit, did a great job delaying this natural with the threat of that bus. Like, now he's on three hatch. He's, you know, he's probably just going to drone up. I mean, the other side of it is, up a tree could sense that, like, okay, after the opening that you did, you can't have that many drones. You're going to want to make drones. Therefore, you will not have a lot of army if I were to push across the map. It could take advantage of that. Or we could see a complete reset where it's just two base to three base. Um, just pretty even footing 
um, when it comes to TVZ. All right, I bet she has a little bit of breathing room, but the Zerg Banes are just sort of <laughs> chillaxing on the ramp here. Yeah, quite the chillax. All right, Liberator is going across the map. I'm not sure if Dinkmaster spotted that or not. Uh, spotted what? The Liberator heading across the map. Oh, yeah. It did fly over the Banes, but um, we'll see if there's a response yeah, in time. No spore? Oh, there's a spore. Okay, I think he went past an Overlord. Right. And now he's definitely over an Overlord. Zergling is going to try and move in here and take out some of these helmets. They are. Liberator is going to deny a lot of mining. Queen's going to float around the outside of it. All right, to two drones point. down. He's going to reposition it. Protecting that gas. Yeah. Okay, he's got to get out of here. He's going to be caught between a spore crawler and three queen. Doesn't want that good. Deny of the mining and two drone kills. Meanwhile, at home, he's walling off. He didn't lose really anything except for maybe a Hellion. Right, I'll bet you he bought himself some time to finally be able to expand and get the economy um, going. And what's really good about what uh, Dankmaster has done at his natural is make a little wall of structures. He can plug it with a queen, and that way no Hellion run by can happen. He knows that there's Hellions. I'm gonna try and sneak it with Zeke. Third these are all probably gonna die. About half of the Lings do die. Run away. Yeah, that Hellion's chasing, though. Oh, uh, it's like, he's nah. not sure he okay. wants it. Speed boost. <laughs> okay, a Liberator can't really find a spot. He's hanging out just outside of Spore range. Yeah, he found a good little spot. He's going to get teched away at his queen, but he's going to deny mining. Okay, Spore Crawler's going to move. Oh, this Liberator might fall. I think up the tree forgot oh. about it. Oh! Now <gasps> it's going down. Oh, oh there's a, there was a so second close, liberator so though with the natural. Is this one gonna die too? That would really suck for up a tree. Yeah, he's gonna lose it, I think. Oh, it lives. It has two kills. Oh, Hellions. Meanwhile, at the third, just caught the tail end of that. Six drones go down. Great multi prong harass from up a tree. Just kind of pulling at the attention of Dankmaster left and right. Liberators and Hellions and Reapers. Oh my. All right, so it looks like Dingmaster is pushing across the map with a little force of lings and a couple of roaches lagging behind. No roach speed, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Not yet. Is now underway. He's being upgraded now. Can he sneak into the natural here? Up a tree going to sneak. Oh, there's no hole in the wall. He pulled the attention. He's going to get some more drones. This is going to be very annoying for Dingmaster. Ooh, up a tree with the harass. And this is this Ten is drones. a drone this BQ. Is, this is Eleven. Eleven yeah. drones We're down. Get more too. Twelve. He doesn't care if he loses all of this because he got so many drones with that. And he pulled the army back. Oh man, that's devastating for Dick Master's top, economy. Uh, an overlord kill. No, get that overlord! <sighs> no, he doesn't want to lose his Viking. <laughs> well, he could find another. Overlord with 10 health yeah, left. <laughs> seriously. That's one lucky overlord right there. But the Viking. Um... Okay, well, what do we got at the third? Tries to get in there and get some kills. I don't think he got any. Maybe he got like one or two drones with that thing run by. Maybe from the splash of the tanks, but there was a good defense there. So, oh, this is a great wall. No more Ling run bys happening at this third, at least from the north. If he's going to go from the south, he's going to have to go through these tanks. Um, I think Upatry uh, can smell blood in the water because he's pushing across the map with a good contingent of Marines and Medivacs. He got a lot of drones. That means Digmaster is going to have to remake them. And uh, that means... Which cuts into unit right. production. He doesn't know. Oh, he does. Does he know about this um, hatchery? Oh, he's right next to this, this fourth hatchery. Is, is he going to see it? Right next to it. The, can he see it? No, oh, I'm toggling vision. He doesn't see it yet. Oh, so... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, it's not much of a threat at the moment anyway, so... Okay. Marine stimming and going to take out all these queens. Okay. Going to stand fast, kite back, get into the medevacs probably, pull up in a second. Yep. He picks up, gets out of there. Yeah. Kills pretty much all the lings. There's just roaches left. There's some hydras now in production. I mean, the, and, and also, yeah, it's, you know, it's just a waiting game at this point. Army supply is so heavily in favor of up tree. Yeah, and worker. And yeah, worker. He, he's firing on all cylinders here. Full on Terran macro production cycles are in effect. We got lots of racks. How many racks do we have here? We got this eight barracks that I can see in the main. Got double uh, NG Bay upgrades coming to two. 
And are the armies gonna meet each other in the map? Viking's gonna scout these Roach Hydras. Oh no, we're gonna lose out of Viking. But he pushes up the ramp into but this the is a devastating oh, no. attack by and a tree right here. I'm surprised for a GG in just seconds now because he knows how much is here. Tree does take out that base that was finished. You know, it actually worked out. Ooh, drone almost snuck by there. It actually worked out to his benefit. But meanwhile, they are trying to do a little run by the yeah, bottom. Yeah, not going to do much. Well, up a tree just annihilate. Yeah, the production cycle, he just re-rallied to his uh, fourth, and he's going to take out this third base. You know, Zerg's on two bases now. Uh, there's, there's really... It's a matter of time now. He's probably going to... Uh, up a tree. 18 Bane lanes. Yeah. <laughs> this is just like a last ditch effort no, he's got main speed. <laughs> to explode. He's going to run in here. He, I think he thought the siege tanks were unseen, which they were. It was a good time to kind of try and run in there, but no. This is, he's going to kite back to his He's going to, oh my god, kill all these Bane lanes, and then he's going to be able to clear out the rest. 120 army supply to 45. Up a tree. Just putting on a clinic here for Terran versus Zerg. He's being, uh, but she's being very, very patient. Oh, yeah. no, he... Not overplaying, overstepping. Well, he knows the game is is his game to lose at this point. Like he sees the army that Dank Master has, he knows he can beat it as long as he doesn't get surrounded. Um, oh, we got a big pickup. Where's he gonna go? Oh, he's just using it to kind of uh, position back. He doesn't want to get caught out. Um, Roach speed, Zergling speed, and Baneling speed. Um, and I think Hydra speed too. No, not not Hydra speed. Um, uh, this is it. This is uh, Dankmaster's last ditch effort. He is going to get a good engage, unseized, but there's more reinforcements coming from the back, and um, he's not going to be able to clean up the rest of the army. Morphing Banelings in front of the army. I feel like that's kind of just him saying, I've given up. Stutter stepping up that ramp. G from Dankmaster. Wow.